What's going on guys? Sean Gautier back with another video. I got my man Trey in the chair today. He is extra grown out, extra shaggy. We're gonna give him a high taper, mohawk, mullet. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into this video. We're gonna jump right in with the number four. We're gonna cut the side of the head down. Basically, we wanna blend into the top and blend into the back. We are not gonna to touch the back. We will cut the top in a little bit, but right now we're just gonna get our side cut down to a four to give us a base to cut our taper into. Now our first guideline is gonna be made with the Andis Slimline Pro. We're just gonna punch it in. I'm going from the top of the ear to the top of the C cup. We'll go ahead and bald out everything underneath, come in with our shaver, get it down to skin, and then we're gonna fade the beard in real quick while we are here before we start our taper. And last time, guys, I faded his beard a little bit lower. You guys know my style if you watch my channel. I really like this disconnect between the taper and the beard. So this time he asked that I fade it a little bit higher so you guys can tell I left myself a little more room, and we're only gonna fade the beard in the ear area. Now as we fade the beard, I'm just gonna start in this area. I can tell that a one and a half is about the length. I'm not gonna get into the bulk of the beard. So I'm gonna start with the one and a half, go straight to the one open, a little bit higher, we'll do the one closed. I'll just immediately pop that guard off, go to an open clipper, then close it halfway, go a little bit up higher, close it at the top, and you guys can see the beard is faded out. I will leave that very top. We'll go ahead and bald that out to blend into our shaver area. Now our first step on the side is gonna be done with the lever all the way open. We'll go up about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. You guys wanna follow the same shape of the guideline that you started with and just work your clipper up nice and even. Then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. Now because I punched that line in with the slim lines, my first step will be scooping that same line out with the same trimmer. Then we can start with our clipper and take the line out from the bottom. So we're gonna do clipper closed at the bottom of the section, clipper halfway open, halfway into the section, and of course we started with our clipper all the way open at the top of the section. After we work through that, if there's any dark spots, we can use our lever to find the right spot to get out anything that's left behind. For our next section, we're gonna go in with the one guard all the way open, and we'll go up another half inch to three quarters of an inch. Guys, when you're doing your steps, you just need to see how much room you have to work with. The tighter of a space you have, the smaller your steps. And if you have a large area, you can do your steps a little bit bigger. So coming in with the one open now, we'll make a nice guideline. Then we can start to work that line out. So we're going to come in with the one guard closed. We're going to go two thirds of the way up into that section. You can see that's going to start to soften that line up. And then our half guard will take the rest of that line out before we move on. Now we'll come in with our half guard halfway open. And if you guys haven't seen my channel before, I like to call this the magic eraser. We're just gonna basically rub it through that last little hint of a line that's left between the two sections, and it should take out anything that's left behind. Now we're gonna move on to a two. This is a two guard all the way closed, and we're just gonna flick up into the four that we started with. You guys see, I went ahead and moved on. I'm gonna go ahead and work my way up. And as we move our way back down, we will polish up this fade. So I'm not gonna spend too much time going through my initial steps. So the two guards should blend pretty closely into the four. If you need, you can go get your three guard out and get anything out that's left between the two and the four. But after we get done with the two, we will come in with our one and a half and it should take out this last little line between the one and the two. And now, like I explained before, we can work our way back down through the steps. We went from the one and a half to the one open, then we can close it up, back to the half guard, back to the open clipper. As needed, guys, we're just polishing out anything that's left behind, making sure we're happy with the side before we move on. Now I'm gonna come in, edge up his vertical bar, We'll go around the ear, straight down the back of the neck. He does want to leave the bottom natural. We're not going to do a V or anything. And we will edge up the back side of the beard. I'm going to come in and do razor work on the top line of the beard later, so we will not edge that up at this time. All 
right guys, now we're gonna move on to the other side, same exact steps as the first side. I'm gonna time lapse this. You guys just follow along with the color guide in the bottom corner. I wanna tell you guys real quick, I hope I can give you some inspiration. My guy Trey right here that's in the chair has been coming to me since college. I think he's about 25 or 26 now. He has been driving an hour and a half, two hours for a haircut for a while. He has been a police officer in another county in Kentucky. And without getting too much into it, guys, I know there's a lot of different point of views on this, but you know, it's a tough time to be a police officer right now. So he made the decision to try something else, kind of going against what everybody thought, you know, his family and a lot of people thought he was really doing great. And that's what he went to college for. And you guys know, I'm always preaching to, you know, if you feel like you need to better your life, if you want to go out and try something new, if you want to go to barber school and you're 35 years old, whatever it is, go do it. You know, you, you only have one shot at this. You need to be happy and that's where he was he was just kind of over it he wasn't enjoying it it was stressful and he decided that he was going to switch it up he now works in a machine shop and has a goal to own his own machine shop and you can see now he can have a mohawk and a beard for the last you know however long i've been cutting him he's had basically a high and tight no facial hair and so i'm stoked for trey to make the move i know he's been going through it a little bit because like i said a lot of people you know they just can't understand and i'll tell you guys when i quit managing at buffalo wild wings to go to barber school people were tripping they're like you're a manager man you make salary why do you want to be a barber and you know so i can't encourage trey more to chase after his own dream whatever that may be whether people kind of naysay it or not they don't understand why you would quit being a police officer um, but i just want to encourage him and i want to encourage you guys that if you're in that spot it's never too late to chase after something different to switch careers just make sure you guys are doing something that makes you happy i promise it is life-changing and uh, you will not regret it. I definitely encourage you to do that. So shout out to Trey, man. Appreciate your loyalty, and I'm stoked for you. I'm glad you made the decision. I told him when he left, man, hey, good luck, brother. You got it. You know, you'll do well. You're doing what you want to do. I'm proud of you. And uh, so I hope that's encouraging for you guys. Just wanted to kind of tell you guys that backstory on my man here. So now we're going to move on to the top. Guys, he's loving this texture. You can see he has a little bit of natural wave in his hair. So we're just going to come through, do a nice point cut. Take a little bit of length off but really we're just adding some texture here most of where he wants the length off is in the front so it can lay a little bit better so we're just gonna go into a deep point cut add some texture and then we'll move on to styling it and adding some final touches Now I'm just gonna comb this fringe down, guys. We're gonna take a little bit off, kind of make it nice and neat. Obviously, he's not gonna wear it straight down the front, but you guys can see where it's extra long. Kind of make it match everything else and make it nice and neat, and then we can come in and blow dry and style it. Now I'm gonna come in with my Dyson, using the diffuser, using my fingers to kind of scrunch the hair. I'm just gonna try to bring out that natural curl, guys. When I wet it and comb it out to cut it with shears, you do kind of take away some of that curl. So you guys wanna come in with your Dyson, the diffuser is gonna evenly distribute the heat. Your fingers will kind of scrunch it up and bring that texture back out. Kind of treat it like a curl sponge, guys. So, you know, just bring the texture back out. Then we can put some product in it, move on to some color enhancement and some razor work. Now we're gonna come in and do some color enhancement. Guys, this is my enhancement card. I'm almost sold out. So if you don't have one, go to the website right now and grab one. I got like 50 left for real. So this is the Sean Cuts Hair Enhancement Card, the Get Beamed Beam Team XL Compressor from 245. And this is 245 No Drip, black brown. You guys can see he does have some hints of brown in his hair. We're just going in doing a light enhancement on the vertical bar. And I'm not gonna enhance the beard, guys, but I will come in and do some razor work and get his beard line nice and sharp. You can see he does not have any problem with having uh, a nice full beard. So we will come in and get that nice and sharp. And you guys can check out the finished product.
All right, guys, there he is before, super shaggy, grown out. Like I said, he was unable to have any kind of haircut like this or any facial hair, so I am sure he is loving being able to actually do something cool and have somewhat of a finished style here. And guys, there's the end result. High taper, mohawk, mullet, whatever you want to call it. We did some razor work, some enhancements on the vertical bars. I hope you guys enjoy this content. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Smash that thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. I drop a couple videos a week. I got some more tool unboxings coming soon. I appreciate you guys watching so much, and I'll catch you next time.